Hi there, everybody. Um, so I'm coming to you live from the Polish city of Swamniki. Swamniki is a small city uh, on the way to Krakow. I'm driving to Krakow today, and I'm about 27 kilometers away from Krakow, from my hotel where I'll be uh, this evening. And I just wanted to show you something on the way. Now, a lot of people, uh, even tour groups coming to Poland, would have driven through this city. Uh, this is a city uh, really on the way from Warsaw to Krakow. Uh, a lot of you would have driven past this, and a lot of you may have even noticed this building behind us over here. So this building behind us over here, this is the Jewish synagogue. This was the synagogue of Swamniki. This is where the Jews would have prayed pre-war. Um, pre-war, there were about 132 Jewish families, uh, 1,300 Jews roughly living in this city. Uh, and the story of what happened to them is a short story that I'll share later. It's a very difficult and sad story. They were taken opposite uh, to the Jewish cemetery where they were left for a few days and uh, awful, difficult situation. Uh, but that's actually not the story and not what we're going to tell today. The story behind us is of this synagogue. Now, what we'll do is we'll try and turn this camera around um, and give you an opportunity to see. So this is the, and uh, what would have been the synagogue of Swamniki. Uh, this is a big imposing building um, that is completely, uh, as you can see, um, dilapidated. The windows are broken, the door is bolted locked. Uh, we're on the main street, as I said, uh, in between Warsaw and Krakow, and it really leads back to a question that was asked and something that's been spoken about a lot recently, which is what do we do and what is being done with the synagogues and with the sites like these of Jewish heritage and history in Poland? Because you see a building like this, which again is a really big building. Uh, it's a building of significance. It's a big building for the city. Uh, and it's a big building in this town, a very, very small city once again. So the question is, what should be done with this, right? Under, who should be in charge of paying for this, of maintaining it, of keeping it up? And really, there, there's a lot of different points. When I first started my journey here in Poland about five years ago, I'd see a site like this and automatically I'd, I'd have a lot of questions and I'd, I'd say, well, of course, this should be turned into a museum. It should be kept. It, it's something that should be maintained. It, it should be restored to be a synagogue. But there are lots of sites like this in Poland. And the, the um, huge amount of money that it would take to upkeep and maintain something like this from the Jewish community, this building belongs to the Jewish community of Krakow. And really, as you can see, is in a terrible, terrible state. There's graffiti on the outside. I've been inside the synagogue a few years ago um, where inside is exactly the same situation. Uh, in fact, even worse, the, the building really, I think there are squatters inside, uh, just completely wrecked and destroyed. So there's a big question of how do we deal with buildings such as these, with this heritage and history? What do we do? How do we maintain it? And how do we upkeep it? And it's an open question because on one hand, I understand the want and the need uh, to take a building like this, but at the end of the day, even though it was a synagogue and even though this was a house of prayer and was something deeply connected to the Jewish community, it isn't anymore. And that has gone. So should this building maybe be taken by the city and used as a cultural building where they also share this heritage and history of the Jews who once lived here? Or, you know, should it be sold and knocked down and built into apartments? Now, it's an open question. I don't have the answer. Thankfully, this isn't a decision I'll ever have to make. But this is a question that's often being asked and leads to a lot of controversial uh, points of view and, and arguments. So once again, um, really, I'll just show you a little bit more of this in really imposing structure. Uh, obviously, the building and the synagogue was built pre-war um, and has remained, uh, as you can see, uh, intact. It was used during the war uh, by the German Nazis as a warehouse, which is the reason uh, that it stayed and is in the condition that it's in So again, you have this big building uh, This synagogue en route from Warsaw to Krakow just 20 something kilometers away from Krakow This history of the Jews who once lived here What should be done with this building? How should this synagogue be kept maintained? I don't know. I'd love to hear your opinions uh, and love to know what you think about this and what you think should be done and how these buildings should be taken care of and maintained. Uh, from Swamniki, on the way to Krakow, I wish you all, all the best. For my Polish friends celebrating the holiday today, enjoy yourselves. For my friends in Israel, uh,